Today, we're gonna take acorns and make acorn flour. It all starts with the harvest. Harvesting is done at the end of summer, but before the rains return. You collect the nuts off the ground, and you have just a couple days, a few days, until they get buggy. So if they have a hole in them, then don't even pick them up because they'll end up looking like this on the inside. After you've collected your nuts, then you can crack them. There are a few different methods. You can use a custom cracker, you can cover them with a cloth and use a hammer. But honestly, I just like using a pair of vice grips. Based on the size of my acorns, I can set the jaws to a certain clearance and then just crack them. And don't throw your shells away. They can be used as a mulch that snails don't like to slime over. Okay, after you have your nuts cracked, it's time to rinse them because acorns have tannins like tannic acid that are water soluble that you have to rinse away. The Native Americans, the Kalapuya Indians in the Northwest, they say would rinse them in the river for two to three days with cold water in order to rinse out the tannins. Today, I'm just gonna rinse them with boiling water eight times. That's another way to do it. So with higher temperature water, you can get away with a lower rinse time. So after they're rinsed, you can roast them. I like roasting at a lower temperature, like 200 degrees for an hour or two, checking periodically, because depending on how many nuts you have, it might take a longer or shorter duration. You don't wanna to go too hot for too short of time, or else you risk burning the outside and leaving the inside uncooked. Once the nuts are roasted, you can eat them. And there's all kinds of different ways you can do this. You can eat them straight, just like a toasted hazelnut. You can also blend them into a flour, that's what I do. And then that flour, can be mixed with pancake mix or bread, just how you'd use any other nut flour. I even had a friend who would mix the acorn powder with peanut oil or some kind of oil and make a nut butter. So how much can you expect to get from a tree? Oak trees are really, really interesting. And one of the things that they are known for is they drop together. If you have a grove of oaks or oak trees in an area, then they will drop a lot of acorns all together, and then they might go a year or two dropping very little or none. And there's different theories. I think the leading one is that if the trees withhold their nuts, then it kills off nut predators like squirrels. And then if they just dump a bunch, then they have no squirrels that can eat those up and so they can propagate the next generation of oak trees. So on a year where they really dump them, you can expect to get about a thousand pounds of acorns per tree, assuming the tree is a mature 100-year-old tree. Assuming 40% of the weight is in the shell, then you can expect to get about a million calories per tree. And that's plenty to feed you for a year in terms of calories. There's a lot of energy falling and around us that we can collect and harvest if we need to or just for fun. One more thing, allergies. Everyone knows if they have a peanut allergy or a bee sting allergy because those things are so common, but Acorns are not part of our food culture right now. And so it's possible that you have a food allergy to acorns. So if you're doing this for the first time, just take a little sample. Okay, now be safe. Mm -hmm.